This video can save you thousands of dollars, if not more, on your Google ad campaigns because I'm going to show you how to add negative keywords so that you stop wasting money on irrelevant clicks to your site. Make sure you guys stay through to the end of the video because I'm going to be sharing my tips and nuggets of information that I have learned throughout my seven years of experience with Google Ads that you don't want to miss. By the way, I am traveling, so pardon my messy background, but I will be flying out shortly, so this will change very soon. That being said, let's hop on over into our Google Ads account and get started. So what are negative keywords? Negative keywords are words that you'll be able to put into your Google Ads account so that when somebody types them in, your ads will not show up. So for the purpose of this video, we'll be using this campaign as an example called Google Ads Mastery right here. And I am in this keyword section right here. So search keywords, and these are the keywords that I have. So how do you know what negative keywords to add? And the way you do that is by using the search term report. So if you don't see an option here, a tab here that's going to say search terms, what you can do is select any keyword you want or select all of them right here and click on search terms. And Google is going to show you exactly what people are typing in to trigger your keywords to thus trigger your ads. So for example, over here, you see learn Google ads, take Google ads courses. So this specific ad is about my Google ads course that you can find on evonmana.com slash old courses. And you want to go through this and see and look for search terms that are irrelevant, that I'm wasting money on that aren't relevant to my course. So let's go down here. Let's see if we can find something. So for example, Google app campaign course, my course doesn't cover Google apps. So the word app or this entire keyword, you could potentially add as a negative keyword, but let's keep going down the list. And I'm going to show you exactly how to add these negative keywords to your campaign. So for example, here, Google ads marketing free course. So what you could do is you could open a notepad and you could write down as you go through this search term report, you can write down the words that you don't want to be included in your campaign. So for example, app. So we're going to come here. We're going to write app. The other word is free. My course isn't free. So I don't want people to have the wrong impression when they click on the ad to think that the course is free. Then we have here something else. Let's see. Uh, there was one other thing here that I noticed display training. So my course doesn't cover display ads in much detail. So we want to add display. So let's suppose these are the words that aren't relevant to my campaign, in this case, my Google Ads course. So what you want to do then is click on keywords over here for the selected campaign, click on negative keywords, and this is where we'll be able to add these keywords. So we're going to click plus here, and then we're going to add the negative keywords here to this campaign. However, if you have different ad groups, you can also choose to add negative keywords for a specific ad group, which is called keyword sculpting, which I cover in detail in my Google Ads Mastery course. But for the purpose of this video, let's suppose we want to add these negative keywords to the campaign. So we're going to make sure to select the campaign option here. And then here's where we can add these negative keywords that we determined are irrelevant to our campaign. So we're going to copy it and we're going to add them here. Now, just like normal keywords, negative keywords also have match types. They have broad phrase and exact. So the exact match type is something like this, which has the square brackets. The phrase has the quotation marks and the broad has nothing. So the exact match type here for this one, if somebody types in the word app, just the word app, nothing else, my ad will not show up. Now, the chances of somebody typing in just the word app are very low. Usually they type in app name or something to do with the app. So in this case, what I want to do instead is not use it as a exact match. Instead, I want to use it as a phrase. And the phrase negative match type is if somebody types this word in somewhere in their search term, then my ad will not show up. So that's exactly what I want to do here. Same as for the word free. If somebody types in free course or free training, then I don't want my course to show up. So as long as the word free is somewhere in their search term, my ad will not show up. And that's exactly what I want. Now, broad functions similar to regular broad keywords, where if somebody types in something similar to, in this case, the word display, then my ads will not show up. However, this is going to be too broad. I don't want to have a false alarm and have somebody type in something that is actually relevant to what I'm selling. So what I'm going to do is also make this a phrase match type. 
And once you're done with this, what you can do is if you choose to do so, if you like your list and you think it belongs to a certain category that you can put a name to, you can add this to a list. So for example, if you have a list for words revolving around free, free, cheap, not expensive, things like that, you could add it to a list name called cheap, right? Or something like that. We're not gonna do that here, but that's an option you can utilize. And then you're gonna click on save. And then these negative keywords are now successfully added to our campaign, and you're gonna be saving a lot of money because now people that are gonna be typing in the words free display or app in their search terms will not see your ad, will not click on it, and therefore won't be disappointed, and you will also be saving money because these things aren't relevant to our campaign. Now, I told you to stay through to the end of the video because I will be sharing bits and pieces of information throughout. So one of the things you can also do here is if you click on negative keywords, you can also use a list that you created. And the way you can create this list is click on tools and settings and click on negative keyword lists right over here. And then you can create a list that's going to be ready made that you can use with a click of a button for any future campaigns. So if you click here, add negative keyword list, let's suppose, like I said, we want to make a negative keyword list revolving around keywords like cheap, free. So we can add them here. We can say free, we can say cheap, we can say, for example, not expensive, and any other synonyms you can think of, you can add them, you can click save, and now you can utilize this keyword list without having to constantly re-add them by clicking here and selecting your list and then clicking save do that. And lastly, if you want to change your match type, what you guys can do is select the keyword you want to change, click on edit, click on change match types, and you can change it from, in this case, phrase to, for example, exact. And you can click apply. And now this is going to be to become an exact match type. So that's how you would do that. And this is how you guys add negative keywords to your campaign, potentially saving you lots and lots of money from these irrelevant clicks that you don't need. If you guys enjoyed this content, I do invite you to check out my website at evonmana.com where I offer you guys a free affiliate marketing guide as well as training courses and especially the Google Ads Mastery and the Google Ads Retargeting course where I guide you through step by step. I hold your hand basically through the entire process, entire Google Ads creation process or Google Ads retargeting and help you create profitable campaigns and grow your business. And that is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.